All right, so what is going on guys? It is Corey here and I'm so excited to be bringing you guys this tutorial. Um, thank you guys so much for 30 likes on my previous speed, speed edit sky replacement tutorial. I didn't actually think we we're gonna get there, but since you guys want it so much, I am going to show you guys. So with these files, I'm gonna drop box them so you can go download them. It'll be in the top line of the description. So go check it out. You can go try this for yourself and please do let me know how you go with it. So what I've got here is the um, the Bombo one, which is the reflection, and the Milky Way one. So first what you want to do is press Command or Control J on the background layer to unlock it or to make like a new layer of it. And do the same with the um, Milky Way. Alright, so after you do that, you want to click and drag the Milky Way one up to the reflection one. Just like that. Sweet. Alright, so what you're going to do is Command or Control T, that will bring up the transform tool thing. And size it down, probably bring down the opacity so we can see what we're doing and how to shape it. And what I'm looking at here is the core of the Milky Way, to see where it looks good. Play around with the size, see how you like it. And I want it sort of coming out of the side of this rock here. I think that's pretty good. Bring bring up the opacity and click the check mark. Next what you want to do is press Command or Control J. That will duplicate the um, Milky Way. And then hide that. Actually, hide the bottom one. And <clears throat> what you want to do is hide that one as well. Go to the reflection one, make sure that layer is active. Zoom in and click the quick selection tool. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, or W. Um, size that up and then just go inside the rocks. here on the refine edge uh, on white and I hate it when I'm um, computer slow as when I'm editing it sucks <clears throat> the feathering Then make sure the um, output is to a uh, new layer and with layer mask. I uh, will remember that because we're going to do this. Oh, actually, yeah. Click OK. <coughs> Alright, so what you got here is the um, selection around the rocks that we just selected. Next, what you want to do is click the bottom one and grab that layer mask and drag it up to layer two which is the one that's active and as you can see now it's only affecting the um, rocks so what you want to do is click the layer mask and hit command or control I and that will inverse it to the sky just like that next what you want to do is, is see the little little bit there click B for brush make sure you're on a black because you're painting on a white layer mask Hundred, hundred, and a soft, soft brush. And then just paint in there. <coughs> just like that. As you can see. <coughs> Excuse me. 
As you can see, there's the um, scar replacement for this um, scar. All right, next, what we want to do is reflect that onto the reflection sky there, that bit there, where it's all clouds. So next, what you want to do is click the top one that we duplicated, Command T, right click, and here it's vertical. And that will flip it upside down, turn down the opacity, and then just try and line it up as best as you can with the top one there. Right now I'm just looking at this bit right here and trying to match it up with there. That looks good. Bring it up. Check it. Uh, hide that and then do the same for the um, for the sky on the reflection. So you make sure the um, the actual the light the rock layer is selected. And then W, or you just click the selection tool. Oh yeah, and if you want to size it up, you just press the bracket keys on your um, keyboard. So what I want to do this is, is the same thing, is go to the refine edge up the top and do the same thing. And it's the same thing where you just drag the um, layer mask up to the bottom, bottom Milky Way shot. And there you go. Sweet. So what you want to do now is just um, blur the uh, reflection shot, the reflection Milky Way shot, and then that's pretty much it. So next, what I want to do is Command J that bottom one, just so we have the original there, so we don't ruin the original, and click. Filter blur. We might do a motion blur on this one. And motion blur. Obviously not that. Just to make it look a little bit more realistic. I reckon that's pretty sweet. So it looks more realistic so it's not just copied and pasted onto the um, bottom there. As you can see, that made that effect. That's pretty sweet. Um, I think I might need to um, burn the top of the top of the rocks there. So I don't think it's ever that bright in real life. But Command um, Shift Shift Alt Command or Control E, and that will stamp all of the layers below. So as you can see that did nothing, but it just stamped it. Uh, quick selection tool again, size it up, then just go to the top of the top of the rocks, or select the rocks and then burn them. Uh, next, what you want to do is go to the burn, not too hard, so around 24 mid tones. burn the top of them. Then 
And as you can see, that made it look a little more realistic, like a silhouette sort of thing. So I hope you guys did learn something new from this tutorial and hope that you guys really did enjoy this. So please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and yeah, let me know what videos you'd like to see next. Hope you guys have a great day ahead of you and yeah, it's been Corey guys.